Now, it makes no difference if you've stopped drinking for a day, a week, a year, even a decade. You will still think about alcohol. But today in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to stop thinking about alcohol, how you can get rid of this obsession, this desire, this mental chatter that never seems to end because you can get rid of this. So I'm going to talk to you about my experience about thinking about drinking alcohol. And I'll talk to you about how I've managed to overcome these thoughts. And then most importantly, I'm going to show you exactly how to address them. So they never cause you to relapse because at the end of the day, it's one thing and one thing only that will get you to relapse. And it's your mindset. It's the only thing because if your mindset is right, you'll see. As we get into the video, we'll unpack this. And by the end of this video, the thoughts about drinking alcohol will become a non-issue. I cannot wait to share this. I don't think I've ever made a video about this before, but it is so, so important. So let's dive into it. Now, just before we get into the video, if you actually want my personal help stopping drinking, where we help you reframe the way that you view alcohol using something called first principles thinking. I've had clients in places like NASA, Forbes, JP Morgan, Google, PayPal. I've been featured in Men's Health, Unilad. Uh, the BBC. And the program is a new method that helps to address the root cause of drinking, which is the conditioning. So if you want more details on the Sober Clear program, click the link in the description and book a call. You and I can jump on a call and see if this program could be a good match for you. So if you want more details, please click the link below. And now let's get into the video. So firstly, guys, let me unpack my experience with thinking about drinking alcohol because I am somebody that's overcome these thoughts. So I think it's important for you to understand what I did wrong in the past and how I've managed to overcome it today. So I tried to stop drinking alcohol for about a decade. I was highly motivated to stop most of the time, but I could never seem to crack it. I'd always seem to go back to drinking some way or the other. And if I could describe every attempt to stop drinking alcohol with one word, I would say that I was always obsessed. I never removed the obsession to drink. I'd tell myself, right, Leon, today's the day that you're not going to drink alcohol. And then by nighttime, I can't stop thinking about alcohol. And then it turns into a craving. And before you know it, I'm at a bar you know, I'm, I'm picking up a bottle of wine at the shop. I'm doing something. I'm drinking something. I could never remove the obsession. And that was the same when I was drinking. I was constantly thinking about drinking. When am I going to get my next drink? If I was, let's say, going to meet somebody and they didn't drink, I'd be thinking about, okay, well, I'll go meet that guy, have dinner, I'll have one beer. And then I already knew I was going to go after that. It, I was always obsessed about drinking. I was always thinking, when am I going to drink? How am I going to drink? How much am I going to drink? Who am I going to drink with? It just dominated my thoughts. Now, there have been periods of my life where I did stop drinking and, you know, I might have hit like a, a mini rock bottom. Like, you know, there was a time where I was, I've told you guys before, but I threw up blood on a computer and that was enough to get the ball rolling for me. And I actually stopped drinking for seven, eight, nine months. I can't remember the exact dates. But during that time, the thoughts were a lot less because I'd hit this dark place where I really just hated alcohol. I did still think about alcohol, but because I was using willpower, there was a time where the thoughts spiraled into a craving and I ended up drinking again at a New Year's Eve party. But these days, it's totally different because I did tell you that I would show you how to stop thinking about alcohol, but I'm going to let you in on a secret. I still think about alcohol. And guess what? Every single person that I've worked with in the Sober Clear program also still thinks about alcohol. And guess what? In 10 years time, they still will think about alcohol. In 10 years time, I will still think about alcohol because it's impossible to not think about alcohol because just think about it for a second. Not alcohol, but think about this scenario. Hang on. You go out into the world and everybody drinks. Every time you see, um, you know, a billboard, a marketing message, alcohol. Every time you turn on a movie, alcohol. It is impossible to ignore it because it's the world that we live in and it's going nowhere and it's okay that it's going nowhere. But you will still think about it. But the difference for me now and for the people that I've worked with is how we're equipped to deal with those thoughts. And this is the thing, is their thoughts. You know, you might have had thoughts before where somebody's wronged you and you thought, oh man, I just love to thump that person in the face and beat them up. You know, it's a thought, but you never act on those thoughts because you know that it's, it's a thought, right? You're just angry in the moment. I'm giving you like a random example. I'm, I'm sure you've had thoughts in the past that could have, got, could have got you locked up. You could have been put in prison for acting on those thoughts, but you didn't act on them. This is the thing is their thoughts. Yet with alcohol, people do act on that thought. And this is what I'm trying to get at. Because I've reframed the way that I view alcohol, because I don't see any value in drinking that stuff, it's just a thought. I never go past the thought. I never start thinking, okay, well, I'm thinking about alcohol. 
okay, I've seen that advertisement. I've seen that person drinking. My friends just invited me for a drink. I never, I never connect these dots and think, yes, it would be a good idea to drink. Instead, I get the thought and immediately discard it because it's just a thought and it doesn't mean that I'm going to start poisoning myself, start drinking ethanol again. You've got to be crazy. Like, why would I do that? Because it's just a thought. But this all boils down to my perception of alcohol. If I still saw alcohol as a good thing, if I still thought that I would gain something from drinking, if I thought that it would help me relax, I'd have a great night out, I'd have a great time with my friends, if I still truly believed that, these thoughts, every single time I get the thought, it would develop into a craving. I'd want to drink because I never addressed the root cause of my drinking, which was thinking that alcohol added value in my life. But these days, it's so different. I know that alcohol adds nothing in my life. So this thought just goes in one ear and it just goes ping and disappears because I'm free now. It's different. It's a very different mindset than before. So I am totally okay when I think about alcohol. You know, there's been occasions where I've like, I don't know, gone past a bar, smelt beer and gone, oh, beer. And I'll think about alcohol and it just disappears within seconds. And to me, you know, I, I've got a lot of respect for AA, right? My mum's been to AA for 20 years. For some people, it's a very, very effective program. But one of the issues for me was this. They never addressed this, right? Because when they think about alcohol, they never remove the obsession. They never remove the desire. So when they think about alcohol, it can spiral out. It can become a craving because they still see alcohol as a good thing which is why they need to ask God to help them get through it. Now, I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, right? Asking God to help you do something is not a bad thing. You know, I've got many religious people in my program. I've got Christians, I've, there's, there's Jews, there's Muslims. There's a, there's a mixture of people in the program, but none of them have ever told me that God helped them get through the past year that they've not drank. Not a single one, because this is the beautiful thing. They don't need God to help them anymore because they don't see alcohol as a good thing. They don't need to pray to get through a craving because they fully address this idea that alcohol added value in their life. And I promise you that once you've done that, these thoughts become a non-issue. Now, if you want more details on how to do that, then please click the link in the description and there'll be some training videos that shows you how to reframe the way you view alcohol using first principles thinking. So if you want more details, definitely click the link down below. But this is the problem, right? The problem is, is that people don't address the root cause of their drinking. So when they get the thought, it becomes a bigger thought a bigger thought, a bigger thought. Now it becomes an idea of actually doing something and acting on this thought. Then it becomes a craving. And then before you know it, you're at the, you're at the liquor store picking up a bottle of whatever. You're at the bar ordering yourself a, a, a martini, whatever the heck it is. But you must address this idea that alcohol adds value in your life. Because I just, you know, every single video I have to say this because the problem is not solved in the world yet. People still see alcohol as a good thing. And I promise you one thing, it adds nothing to your life. It adds zero to your life. All that damn stuff does is take from you. It takes your health, it takes your energy, it takes relationships away from you, it takes money away from you, and it takes years of your life away from you. That's all that stuff will do for you. It will do nothing else. It will do zero else, and the only thing that you can do is remove it from your life, and your life will take off like it's never taken off before. You'll drop 20, 30 pounds, you'll be more present for your family, your business might explode. Great things can happen when you remove alcohol from your life. And that becomes easy when you address this root cause, when you're able to see it for what it is, then these thoughts just literally bounce off you. So again, if you wanna do it together, click the link in the description, book a call, let's see if working together could be a good match. And if you click the video on the screen now, you can learn how Ramona stopped drinking alcohol. She's not actually drank for two years now. It's a bit of an older interview, but you definitely wanna check it out.